Imagine taking the blades of a helicopter and putting it on top of a saucer-shaped craft. Think it can fly? In order to produce lift, the blades have to force air downward. But with the size of our saucer-shaped craft, there seems to be a problem. That downward moving air is blocked by the top of the craft. Thankfully, we have what's known as the Kawanda effect to help us solve our problem. Kawanda effect, named after Henry Kawanda who discovered it, works on the principle that flowing fluids stick to curved surfaces and will continue to follow the shape of the surface. On our flying saucer, we produce a stream of air that first gets forced across the top of the surface. Since the surface is curved downward, the stream of air sticks to, or adheres, to the surface of the saucer and also curves downward. Because of this downward force, Newton's third law of action and reaction says that there should be an equal and opposite upward force exerted by the object. And this upward force is called lift. All of this is similar to an airplane wing. If the trailing edge of the wing is curved downward, the stream of air will continue to bend downward because of the shape of the wing. You can see Kawanda effect in action at home. All you need is a ping pong ball and a blow dryer. Hold the blow dryer so that the exhaust points up. Turn on the blow dryer and try to place a ping pong ball in the stream of air. The ball will wobble back and forth slightly, but it should be able to move itself back toward the center of the stream, and that's because of Kawanda effect. If the ball were perfectly centered, air would rush equally along both sides of the ball. Of course, the ball quickly gets pushed off center by the rush of air, so it starts to fall away from the stream. As the ball moves to one side, the stream of air on the other side starts to bend above the ball in the direction the ball is falling. This new sideways jet stream produces an equal and opposite sideways force by the ball, so it begins to move in that direction. As long as the ball overshoots the center, it will repeat this process, wiggling back and forth in the jet stream. Of course, this only works as long as there's a stream of fluid. So sadly, our flying saucer won't move through the vacuum of space using Quand effect. It does give us a cool way to travel through air and water though. So next time you fly through the air in a plane, just think how cool it would be riding in a flying saucer instead.